cardio bites. What are the signs and symptoms of amyloidosis? Because amyloidosis is usually a multi-system disease, there is a wide spectrum of clinical presentations. We will review the most common signs and symptoms of immunoglobulin light chain, or AL amyloidosis, compared to transthyretin, or ATTR amyloidosis. In patients with immunoglobulin light chain amyloidosis, the heart is usually the most commonly affected organ, followed by the kidneys, nerves, liver, and gastrointestinal system. The signs and symptoms of AL amyloidosis include fatigue, weight loss, orthostasis and lightheadedness with standing due to autonomic dysfunction, macroglossia, periorbital purpura, shortness of breath, palpitations, lower extremity edema, poor appetite, diarrhea or constipation, hepatomegaly, foamy urine due to proteinuria, lower extremity numbness, pain and tingling from peripheral neuropathy. In transthyretin amyloidosis, the signs and symptoms are typically confined to the heart and or the nervous system. Additional manifestations that are more common in ATTR compared to AL amyloidosis are bilateral carpal tunnel syndrome, spontaneous biceps tendon rupture, and lumbar stenosis. Amyloidosis of any type that affects the heart is known as cardiac amyloidosis. Patients often present with symptoms of heart failure with preserved ejection fraction, or HEFPEF. Additional cardiac manifestations include left ventricular hypertrophy, right ventricular hypertrophy, biatrial enlargement, decreased QRS voltage relative to the degree of left ventricular hypertrophy, atrial fibrillation, and atrioventricular conduction disease. In summary, Recognizing the signs and symptoms of amyloidosis can aid in the timely diagnosis and initiation of effective treatment for these patients, ultimately improving outcomes. In a patient with heart failure with preserved ejection fraction, or HEFPEF, and left ventricular hypertrophy, cardiac amyloidosis should always be considered in the differential diagnosis. Thank you for tuning in to this edition of CardioBytes brought to you by the Heart Failure Society of America. Support for this program was provided by an independent grant from Alnylam Pharmaceuticals. I'm Christine Seiler, Advanced Heart Failure and Transplant Specialist at the University of Colorado. Please complete this short survey to help us identify more programs that may be of interest to you.